What's up guys, it's Sean here from Dude Monkey HQ, and I'm excited today because today we are finishing the Mega Man X playthrough for the Super Nintendo. Today we're facing Sigma. I'm doing all three parts in this video plus credits. Um, we're gonna fight the dog part of Sigma, the Sigma with a lightsaber, which is very Star Warsy in my opinion. And then we're gonna fight the half Sigma, half wolf mechanized monster metal gear beast thing. So to start this off, you wanna ascend to the top. If you don't have full energy tanks or full health or whatever, you want to power yourself up by shooting those worms and falling down to get their items. Yeah, so the reason I came up here with the full charge is because um, the dog actually jumps at you immediately as soon as the battle begins and you want to be prepared for that. So you actually want to jump up and fire as soon as this fight starts. There you go. As far as strategy for the dog, I've read online that the shotgun ice is the most effective weapon. But basically my strategy against the dog is to come up this wall and let him climb and then I blast him with the uh, charge buster. If you hit him with the single buster, um, you'll do damage but it won't deflect. And um, yeah, this is basically how I beat the dog. You might be surprised but I probably won't take any damage during this run through. Alright, so we're wrapping this up with this uh, dog battle and we're going to move on to the second stage. So this is a perfect clear for the dog or, you know, now it's a perfect clear for the dog since I didn't get hit. And um, now we're moving on to Sigma with the lightsaber. This is very Star Wars-y by the way, but um, I kind of like it. Even though he would look better with that red lightsaber, you know, because he's evil. You know, maybe Sigma's a Sith or at least a Dark Jedi. Anyway, the strategy for this one is pretty similar to the strategy for the dog. I go up to the corner, charge this up, and I blast him. The uh, yellow shocker is the most effective against Sigma. Um, the second most effective, which you'll probably see later in this battle, and when I say probably, I mean will, um, is the, uh, what you call it, is the chameleon attack. Because the chameleon attack, while it's not effective against Sigma, it makes you temporarily invulnerable. And that's a decent trade-off. You know, you can't get hit by him, he can't get by you. There's my first hit, of course. When I say you can't get hit by him, I get hit. Um, and anyway, it's a good trade-off, especially if you're trying to learn the pattern to be invulnerable and kind of like learn the timing and all that. And you can do some damage, but you will waste all of your chameleon power. Anyway, we're about to wrap up this part of the Sigma battle. Uh, again, he's not crazy strong. As long as you know how to do it. His attacks are strong. If you get hit by his shit, then he will hurt you. But yeah. Now I'm switching to the chameleon. Get my last shot in. And we're moving on to stage 3 of the Sigma battle. This should be interesting, kids. So anyway, the strategy for this one is to use the shield. Um, you guys might be like, oh, he's a good Mega Man player. I can't do this shit. This is going to be a really sloppy run of my uh, of this part of the battle. As you can see, I'm getting hit by the paw. And things are not going to go well for me while I'm playing this. Let me be honest. Anyway, his attacks are really significantly powerful. Um, I want to get to the yellow part before I let the game breathe a little bit. Yeah, those yellow attacks are very, very powerful. What you want to do is dash through them in order to avoid getting hit. Obviously, I messed up there, and you're going to see me mess up more than a few times.
So anyway, as for strategy, you just want to be able to avoid the attacks. Um, I just got hit by the fire and the lightning, which I'm sure gets me close to summoning Captain Planet, but otherwise, not a very good idea. Um, quick personal note about this level. Uh, my cousin, as I said in the beginning of the playthrough, and I used to play this game when we were uh, little kids. And when we were kids, we never beat Sigma. And the last time I saw him, he actually told me that he never beat Sigma. By the way, that was a perfect dodge twice of the yellow attack. Pretty impressive, considering I've been getting hit by it this whole level. Um, anyway, so, uh, I actually spoke to him recently, and he still had not beaten Sigma. So, this playthrough is actually going to go up on his 27th birthday. And, um... Just want to say happy birthday, cuz. Uh, I'm going to do what you could not do on video, then brag about it, and then tag you in this video. So, you know, not that impressive. Little family drama in there, but uh, yeah. This is how you beat Sigma, man. You gotta step your game up. So anyway, I look like I'm pretty close to finishing them off now. But if you guys have been following my playthrough in the beginning of it, I talked about how I like to do a big finish, like beat every boss with a charge attack because I think it looks cool. Well, you're about to see the critical flaw in that strategy right here. So, um, this is not as enough health to, for me to finish him in one attack. So there I jump up with the shield. I hit him, of course, but then I lose part of the shield. But anyway, the reason I like to do this is for what you're going to see right now. And um, it's just because the, the full shield attack, it looks cooler. And when uh, Sigma falls, oh, there we go, I got eaten up by the lightning, better charge it again. And when Sigma falls to the real shield, you actually hold it for a little while. And that looks fucking pretty cool. You're in an energy ball and he falls. And uh, yeah, that's how you fight Sigma. Again, like my third part of this playthrough was not that good. Didn't show off a lot of talent here. Anybody can do this. The whole point of this walkthrough is not to speed run it and fucking put up the footage and you know, look at how awesome I am. It was so like people out there who wanted to see it, like my cousin, to watch it and emulate it. Anyway, um, I decided to leave the credits in this video for you guys. If you guys want to see the credits, you want to see how it ends. Maybe you're one of those people who doesn't like playing games, but you like watching people talk and narrate over games. But um, I'm actually going to sign off here. Um, or in a little bit anyway. So if you like this video, be sure to like it. If you want to share it with people, um, hit that share button. I'd appreciate it. And if you guys want to see more, I'm definitely going to play more uh, classic Super Nintendo games on the Super Nintendo for you. So if you want to see more, definitely subscribe. It'll be a lot of fun. Anyway, uh, this is Sean from Dude Monkey HQ. I appreciate you guys sticking with me through this playthrough. And uh, happy birthday, cuz. Until next time.